And we are back. This is The Walking Dead Season 11, Episode 16, our second and final mid-season finale. I'm excited and nervous. I think everything is going to come to a head this episode, like a really, really big head, to set up 11C. Someone's going to die. I think Leah's going to die, but I also think someone else might die. I don't know who. I'm scared. But 11B has been really good. And I've heard good things about this episode. Apparently it's one of the best mid-season finales we've ever had. Hmm. We shall see. This bitch. Aw, did you get some on your shoe? That sucks. Oh, that's creepy. Call it. Tails, I guess. Over there, please. What is a coin toss? What are you, Two-Face? Can you give us the assignment, sir? Attack Hilltop. You're not saying that. They're gonna go for Hilltop. Aww. Looks like these two had some fun. Just like Princess and Mercer last episode. Keep doing this for a while. But that's what it takes. Ooh, someone's got an attitude. Did you check Charleston yet? Why? What's in Charleston? There's a rumor on the rooftops they trade for weapons and stuff. Might be something, might not. Well, looks like we're not alone. Oh, did he punch to that walker? If so, that was kind of cool. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Well, you're dead. What is that? I need to see. I, what is that? Is that what we saw at the beginning? She's dead. Oh, please. She's gonna I kick her ass. He doesn't exactly trust me. But I'm starting to. Damn. You saved him at Riverbend. They're 100% whatever else happens. Setting up the spinoff. And whatever else has happened. I will never forget that. I still want to know what propels them to leave. You have big balls, Maggie Ray. Okay, seriously, what the fuck is that? Shit. Is it some kind of swarm? That in a sign from the man of shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck that. I don't like how the music's building up. Execute Order 66. I knew it. <laughs> Once Lance told him to finish it, I was like, Execute Order 66? That's what it reminded me of. Oh, Aaron, please be careful. That. Fuck that. No, fuck that. I don't do those. Fuck that. No. Ten more to clear the field. Rip. Hilltop. Leave all the allies behind. Hey. Oh, this little shit. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, why? 
<laughs> Why don't you go get word to her for me? Her only child. <laughs> God, he's fucking creepy. Kathy. <laughs> hey, don't touch her. My god, he's a creepy little sociopath. Oh, I hate him. Boom. Holy shit. R.I.P. That's a holy pass of money off Super Jamie Life. We can look over any other with us. Follow the trail back to the camp, and then we end this. On it. You ready, bud? It's over. Do I? Oh! Get down! Oh, this bitch. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, Ezekiel. I'm round up a few more for the calls. I told him we needed more people to get the article out. And I got a whole network ready and willing to ride at dawn. Good job, Ezekiel. Love you. We're doing this? We're doing this. I don't like how quiet it is. They're going to jump scare me. I keep thinking she's going to be behind her or something. There's no music, and I don't like it! Ooh! Is that her? Yeah, it's her. God, that entire scene with no music was scary. Oh, she got her? Oh, she did get her in the leg. Do it. Fuck. You fuck! I killed your people because it was what I wanted. This is what you want, Mia. Am I supposed to feel bad about them dying? Like, I didn't give a fuck about the Reapers. Go ahead. Okay, obviously Maggie's not gonna die. She's gonna get spin off. You want it, so do it. Forward. Get her ass, Maggie! Uh. Come on, Maggie. You're a queen, I love you, you got this. There you go, there you go. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Uh -huh. <gasps> Holy shit, Daryl. Oh my god, and we have this fuckhead. Did he just shoot Lance? Oh my god, oh, he pulled a Strand and Daniel move. Oh shit. Oh, hi, Alexandria. Oh, fuck that. Oh my god, what was that I said before about him being Two-Face? The coin, the star, he's literally Two-Face. Are they gonna kill them all? He's gonna pull Two-Face, do the coin thing. Eat shit. 
Okay, so of course they had to end it on a big cliffhanger. It looks like there's a chance that he's going to execute all those people. He's literally Two-Face. Because he's Two-Faced, literally the scar now, and the coin, he's Two-Faced, the Walking Dead version of Two-Face. But as much as I hate Lance, he's a, he's a really good villain. I didn't expect to like him as a villain this much, like... Because my top favorite is Alpha, she was the best villain. But Lance, like, he's written really well and he's just really compelling. Like, yeah, he's a snake and I hate him, but he's entertaining. I don't think he'll be the villain, but he was 100% the main villain of 11B. I think the villain of 11C, Lance, Lance will still be the villain, but more like a secondary villain. I think the main villain of 11C will be Sebastian. That's just my gut. It's going to be Sebastian. So Leah died, which, which that was obvious. I saw that coming. I do wish that we had gotten in like one final scene between Daryl and Leo before she died. Like maybe not a headshot, shoot her in the chest or something or the stomach and then they like have one last piece of dialogue. It would have made the death feel a little more meaningful. Cause like the, the, the fight scene itself with her and Maggie was really good. But like her death itself didn't really feel meaningful. I feel like if Daryl and Leah had like one last scene together, it would have felt, it would have meant a little bit something, something more. I also think it would have been more meaningful if Leah had been the villain of the first half of the season. Like, I think Pope should have never been a thing. I think Pope should have been written out of the story altogether. Leah should have been the villain from the very beginning, with the leader of the Reapers. Because... She was a lot more, as, as a villain, she was a lot more entertaining than Pope. Pope was stupid. He was just dumb. But as a villain, Leo was a lot more entertaining. So yeah, that's just how I feel. But I feel like they should have gotten at least one last scene together to make it a little more meaningful. But the fight scene was still really good. Um, the scene in the woods with the no music, yeah, that was creepy. <laughs> And Daryl and Aaron and Gabriel taking out the Commonwealth soldiers in the bus car yard. That was really cool. Daryl shooting Lance in the face. It's like Strand shooting Daniel in the face on fear. The music at the end was so good. Oh my god, Sebastian in the scene with him and Max. He's a sociopath and he's so unhinged. He's 100% going to be the villain of 11C, like the main, main villain, especially since 11C is the final eight episodes. We're definitely going to be losing mains in 11C, because we haven't, I don't think we've lost any. Well, I guess Alden, but we're definitely going to lose more. Like, we're definitely going to get one, because there's one specific death that is 100% coming. I just don't know who it is. My gut has been telling me, Aaron, I don't want it to be. But at the same time, there's another character that I also think it could be because of some clear foreshadowing we've gotten throughout. Because 11B has had clear foreshadowing that a certain character is going to die. I'm not going to say who it is just because in case I'm wrong, I, I don't know. But someone is going to die. Probably more than one, but someone will die toward the end. I don't know who, but someone will die. And if I had to guess when this will come back, well, fear is going to go into June. We're getting tails in the summer. I want to say maybe August, like last year. Or they could air it in October, like a normal schedule. I would think October, in time for Halloween. Imagine if the last episode aired on Halloween. That'd be fantastic. 
I kind of, I feel like the finale is going to be long. Like, I hope it's like almost two hours. Almost. Because we've had episodes go up to like an hour and a half. Hmm. I'm so scared. Like, I'm really scared for a certain death that's coming. I just don't know who. If you're a comics fan, you probably know what I'm talking about. I don't know who it's going to be because obviously, obvious reasons. I genuinely don't know. But 11B, now that it's over, I can say it was fucking fantastic. A step up from 11A. 11A wasn't bad. It was just, it was good. It was just the Reaper stuff brought it down. But other than that, 11A was fine. We had 1106, which was fucking fantastic and a series best. The Commonwealth stuff was great. But 11B was just, it was better. Hmm. I'm so scared. But it's okay. At least now we have some months to go to breathe until the final eight episodes. I'm not ready for the show to end. I know it's had its flaws and it's up and, da up and downs, but this is my show. I mean, I know we'll have fear and everything on all the spinoffs, but this is the main show. It's going to be hard. At least I'm getting Maggie in a spinoff. Which, yeah, 11B, the last, like, four episodes, they're definitely setting that up. Because, like she said, she's starting to trust him. They're setting it up. But what I want to know is what propels them to leave in the first place in New York? Does someone get kidnapped? Do they, is it CRM related? I don't know, but I want to know what propels them to leave. But the fact that we're going to New York, like a big city, that is exciting. Because like, I like when Fear did big cities and stuff, big locations. I like going somewhere new. And I think New York could be really interesting. I think they said it was Manhattan too. We're going to Manhattan, that's so cool. But yeah, I don't know how they're gonna, what propels them to leave or something, I don't know. We'll probably get a glimpse of that in the finale. But anyway, that is it for now. That is The Walking Dead season 11, episode 16, our second and final mid-season finale. Overall, that was fantastic, honestly. Definitely one of my favorite mid-season finales. I'm not ready for the end. But like I always say, we don't cry yet. Cry when it comes. Until then, yet I smile. <laughs> Anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the Mid-Season Finale and your thoughts on what will happen in 11C. And I will see you guys next time.